Political controversy has also ensued in Meghalaya over a vehicle scam in the police department. A high-level inquiry, which was ordered by the Director General of Police, L. R. Bishnoi, discovered that 29 vehicles had been unofficially procured by the Assistant Inspector General of Police, Gabriel K. Youngrai. According to this inquiry, Youngrai had been using these vehicles for his personal purpose. Meghalaya Trinamool Congress was the first one to lodge a complaint to the Honorable Lokayukta on the 6th of September 2022. I don't see where this word scam has to come in. It's just becoming like using fancy words. They try to, you know, change the narrative of the whole thing. Yes, there could have been some issue, but a lot of things that happened. There could be some delay or some other things. But that doesn't convert the entire situation to scam. So. The opposition Trinamool Congress hit up with the CM with George B. Lingdo, the opposition chief whip, saying that the reaction of the chief minister is surprising and can only indicate that Sangma is trying to brush away the allegations. A win for the people of Meghalaya regarding the procurement of vehicles for the police department. Another instance of corruptive practices in the construction of the National Emergency Response System NERS, has been exposed, which directly breaches Appendix 2 and Appendix 9 of the Meghalaya Financial Rule 1981. Despite not showing any estimate, the entire sanctioned money of Rs 95.78 Lux was withdrawn. After their blatant ignorance, now the Meghalaya Democratic Alliance government is breaking the law and order of the state.